Hi everybody! Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Paper Crafting Saturday. I'm Leslie Watkins and today I'm going to be showing you how to put together a die cut card. So the stamp set that I'll be using today is Painted Poppies and Peaceful Moments. And I'm also going to be using the Poppy Moment dies that come with the Painted Poppies in a bundle. And this, uh, this bundle will be retiring in, uh, in May. So if you're interested in getting it, you're, you're going to have to get it now before it's no longer available. So let me show, I've done a lot of cutting out beforehand, so let me show you what I've done. So this is my card base. This is a five and a half by four and a quarter card base. And then I have a mat which is four by five and a quarter. And this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is in Poppy Parade. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> and then I have a, a white mat, and this one, I've cut out with the, with the stitched rectangles. So I think you can see it has that beautiful detail around the edge. So that's the card base. And then I've got all of these pieces, and these are really quite wonderful. So I've got the, um, I've got two tones of leaves. I've got a bunch of centers here. I've got two tones of poppies, and these were cut out of Calypso Carl and Poppy Parade. So they look like that. Okay. And then the, the leaves are cut out of pear pizzazz and old olive. So these are, are all the pieces that I have to work with. And they layer. And I'm going to show you how that looks. So let me... going to get a piece of, of paper out so you can see what I'm doing here. So the big flower will look something like this. I'm going to have to zoom you out a little bit so you can see better. And then these leaves layer together like this okay and then these flowers Come together like so. And then we have these leaves that go like this. Now I've also got the flower centers. <clears throat> and then I have these wonderful profile centers so 
So all the all the work's really been done for you. All you need to do is just to assemble all of these pieces. So let's see. <clears throat> I have a, um, I couldn't decide whether to make the bud lighter or darker. So I did it both ways. So let's see how this looks. There you go. So there, there is our palette of things to use. in our design. Okay, so now what we're going to do is assemble them in a pleasing design for the card. But before we do that, I want to do a little bit of stamping. So I've got my Poppy Parade ink and now look at my sentiments here. And I think I'll go with thank you. I can always use a thank you card. All right, I'm just going to get a scrap of white. There's a tello. Okay, so there's my sentiment ready to go. I've got poppies on my mind because for this month's watercolor card club we painted poppies and I'll show you what the card looks like at the end of the video. And I've been making seed packs to give away for, for people to sprinkle in their gardens. A lot of the poppies that I have in, in my garden are this beautiful salmon color. And that's why I use the Calypso Coral because they look like my poppies. 
All right, so there's our card base. All right, and that looks very nice. I just want to straighten this out a little bit. Here we go. That's better. I'm going to start with my biggest one first, so let's assemble that. Now you can always use your fine tip glue if you like, but I find if, I'm, if I go very slowly and carefully, I do all right with the Tombow. So I'm just going to lightly dot that around. And I'm going to get out my reverse tweezers for this. Get that into position. Go. And then my center. this way. And then I'm also going to take one of these pieces with all these anthers and just fold those up. That right in the middle. So it's got lots of dimension. Or I'm going to go ahead and do my leaves so that they're ready to go. bit on this very thin part. I think you can see how beautifully delicate and intricate that comes out. What's so, what's, this is what makes the dies so wonderful and the stamp and cut and emboss machine because you could, I won't say you could never get these effects by cutting by hand because there are some people who take um, 
cutting cut paper art to an incredible degree of, of fine art. But having the, the machine and the dies allows you to, to get these beautiful effects with very little effort. And they add so much to your, to your paper crafting. I know I'm off camera here, but I've got to, I've got to look closely at what I'm doing. So I'm just lining up the stem. And if you get the stem lined up, then the leaves will fall right into place. Okay, so let's see how many of these I'm actually going to use. And if you don't have a reverse tweezer, when you're doing this very, very fine work, I find them absolutely indispensable. There we go. All right, now I know I definitely want to use at least one of these profile poppies. And I'm just picking up glue from one spot with my nozzle and just putting it where I need it to be without squeezing out extra. And I'm going to give these a little bit of a bend. Okay, let's see what we've got so far. Maybe something like that. And let's get one of these buds in there. And I'm going to go with the lighter outer and the slightly darker inner. And you could also make these red, so you could, as if you were seeing the beginning of the petals poking through the opening of the, of the, starting to unfurl from the bud. I think I'll do another one of those.
Okay. All right. Now I'm going to use my dimensionals. So I've got some minis, which I might need. I'm not sure. And the regular. And I'll begin with my big flower. Zoom you out a little bit so you can see better. One more in the middle. Okay. There we go. Now I also want to get make sure I get my sentiment right where I want it, so I'm going to put that on next. I'm going to let that come out a little bit like that. Now these I'm going to glue down. I'm just going to tuck that under. And I'll let this come out this direction. And this leaf I'm going to pop up. And I think I can use two standard dimensionals. And I just want this to sort of overlap. top of my sentiment like that. Put another one on here. And then finally, with my mini dimensionals, I'm going to add my buds. And I'm just going to tuck that, tuck the stem underneath the leaf. And put this one over here. So that's my card. And I think it's really pretty. So I want to also take the time to decorate an envelope. Put a green leaf. Let's 
say. I think I'll put two. And I'm, I'm going to have to do a little masking here, so I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap paper. I can find one. There we go. So there is my card for today using the dies from Poppy Moments and the sentiment from Peaceful Moments and the stamps from Painted Poppies. Now before I go, I just want to show you my watercolor card club for this month. And the theme was poppies. So here is my watercolor card club card. And I also made a tag using the brand new tag die set that's coming out in May. And I absolutely love it. And I love the way that looks on there. So if you're interested in the watercolor card club, we do a we paint a new subject every month and I show you step by step how I go about painting something. April was poppy and every month it's a surprise. I let you know on the first of the month what it's going to be with my um, newsletter notes. So if you are not already subscribed to notes, please do. And I will be happy to send you all the information about my upcoming classes, my um, workshops, and the Watercolor Card Club, and other interesting things that are going on throughout the month. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you were inspired and that you're thinking about getting your gardens ready. I'll be back on Monday for Marvelous Monday. Have a great weekend. Stay well, stay happy, and stay creative. And I'll see you next time.